What's going on guys? It's Moya here with Auto Addict. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Today is Saturday here in California. It's Saturday somewhere in this world. So let's go over our workflow, what we got going on for you guys. We got two cars that we're giving back to our clients. One is coming all the way from the IE area and all the way from up north, which is our Hennessy SS1 LE. Yes, we do have a Hennessy that I'm very excited to show you guys. Without further ado, let's get started and hop on our builds. Hey guys, so shout out to our client Anthony for giving us the opportunity to work on his Gen 5 SS. When he first started out with us, he purchased the Ombra Taillights 1415 plug and play signature uh, style for us, and he got the Z28 carbon fiber diffuser. We're gonna go over those right now and show you the fitment and how everything came out and show you what he added to the front. He's not done with the front just yet. He is step stoning it. He is wanting to get RGB headlights and fog lights with us. So he just got the bumper, painted it, assembled it with us. We installed everything A to Z and got him right. Let's show you this awesome SS14 right behind me. All right, guys, as you can see right here, our Ombra Signature taillights smoked out with the gloss black housing, giving the silver Camaro a great contrast to be aggressive, give it a wide angle look as well, and a 3D appearance. Going down to the diffuser, one of my favorite products to add on the Gen 5. I dislike the OEM diffuser that comes from the 1415 factory. It's very, very plastic and it does not look good at all on the bumper. So we did add the carbon fiber diffuser Z28 style. As you can see, it does fit the quad tips with the Corsa tips that he's got going on. This car is really looking sharp and clean in the back, giving it a simple look, but as well with the aggressive tail lights and the carbon fiber accents that he added. All right, guys, just looking at the front right now, the way we painted it and we did the inserts with the Femi on this car came out amazing. Let's go ahead and flip this 180 to show you what, what we got going on and all the brightness and the luxurious on this metallic silver Camaro. This is one of my favorite bumpers when it comes to installing and modifying a Gen 5 from 2010 to 2015. Auto Attic manufactures this bumper to fit all trims, meaning you can have an LS, an LT, an RS, an SS1 LE, a Z28, or a ZL1, and our bumper will still fit perfectly fine without any issues. Now, when it comes to painting it, I recommend everyone does this, you don't have to, but our inserts come from our factory, flat black, semi-primered. But to give it that true appearance that it deserves, go ahead and just paint the inserts gloss black. It's gonna make the bumper pop. Even if you have a black on black, it's still make it more luxurious. With this, he's definitely winning. It is silver metallic. All around the bumper shell is silver metallic, contrasting with the upper, lower, the lip, the bezels, and the dive planes in gloss black. Now, there's a really good point for you guys to watch here on the detail that our customer is working with us on. Now, as you can see, he has a 1415 from factory, right? The 1415 OEM headlights fit perfectly with our bumper, but if you have a 10 and 13 and you want to rock the bumper with just still keeping your headlights, it's totally fine. They'll fit. You'll just have a gap right around the corner over here from each side. That's all it is. And once you're ready to get the 6th gen headlights for the 10 to 13 upgrade, then you'll need a custom T harness, of course. Also, going down to the fog lights. He did not get any fog lights with us just yet. A lot of people do add the fog lights with our bumper kit, but he's waiting to get everything together with the 6th gen and the ZL1 DRLs to make everything RGB custom color via Bluetooth. All right, guys, we forgot something. Let's get this car tagged up. He is going to Cars and Coffee today. He was super excited. He like, I'm gonna pick up my car and I'm out to Sacramento to go to Cars and Coffee. So let's go ahead and get this car tagged up and let people know that this is our bumper and he's rocking our product with some swag. So the client's on the way. Should be here roughly in about 20 minutes before he picks up and he's out to Sacramento. This is one of my favorite clients, Greg. Shout out to Greg for being an awesome supporter of Auto Addict USA. He does not let anybody trust this car but us. We've had this car for quite a while. He babies it with us too every month or two. So checks on the car, whatever he wants to add, just kind of gives us the green light. And then after that, we make it happen for him. Now, he did get an entire paint correction before a long time ago with ceramic, but now it's kind of time to revive this uh, paint for him. So we're gonna do a full on wet sand revive stage three with uh, coating as well to show you guys what 
what we can do to this awesome Camaro, just already looking as aggressive as is with all the carbon fiber with Auto Addict, but it's time to make it that true shine. So when he's out on the road, it's popping everywhere. And being black, one of the hardest colors in the market to make sure it gets it to the right way. But guess what? We got the right guys, the right set of hands is gonna be working on all these colors that specializes in that field. All right, all right, before I even continue with this, there's so much going on here and I'm really, really enjoying going over this episode with you guys. We have so much more right behind me that I wanna go over to let you guys know what we've accomplished and what we're doing to the cars as well. We got old school, we got TRDs right behind us and we also have American Muscle. But there's also something really special in the showroom that we're saving the best for last. Our client's coming in about four hours all the way from San Francisco, driving seven hours to pick up his car. It is in Hennessy Build, another one in the house and I'm super excited to go over it. But let's go over what we got right behind me and go at it from there. All right, guys, this is one of my guys's, uh, this is Carlos's SS. This car is actually one of the loudest SS's that we had in our facility here. Unfortunately, he got in a little accident. As you can see, the OEM SS bumper is all cracked in half over here and a lot of scratches and the carbon hood that he got with us also got damaged. So this car is in for a full insurance job to make sure we get it right, get it nice and clear on the road. So all we're waiting on the adjuster to come in this week, we're gonna go ahead and set the supplement out and after that, it's time to get to work. So super excited for that one. This is also, Carlos, so I have a Carlos here and another Carlos here. Um, it just happened to be both Carlos, but this car, we've been working on this car for quite a minute and our client has been very detailed oriented in regarding how he wants to mod his Camaro with us, right? Not just using Auto Addicts USA's product line for the Camaro, but as well, it kind of makes it up with a couple of touches. This car has added a lot of stuff, as you can see, our custom carbon fiber extension splitter, our ZL1 bumper, our entire headlight and fog light package, the Terminator carbon fiber GT style hood with an aggressive scoop. He also did a lot in the back, which I want to show you very soon. We converted that OEM trunk to a flush finish and we added our new wing that fits from 2010 to 2015 ZL1 1LE 6th gen style. Since we're very focused on the front end and we sold a lot to our consumers on that, we're also finally launching something in the back so it matches with the front and the back giving the front and the rear bumper an aggressive look that it deserves. Alright guys, so let me show you. You can see this entire trunk is all nice and flush. There's no holes whatsoever. When we took out the OEM existing spoiler, a lot of the paint was chipped on both ends. We sanded it down, we repainted it, we bonded and covered the old OEM holes, and we just integrated it with this custom ZL1 1LE spoiler legs. We're talking about two 10 millimeters in the front, two millimeters uh, in the middle, and two millim 10, 10 millimeters in the other side as well. So this is a very aggressive look, contrasting it with our Velux taillights with the black housing. Like I said, yellow, when you upgrade the taillights, the Velux is a must go to, and we're almost soon replacing the diffuser for him. Like I said earlier in the episode, this is not my favorite go-to diffuser. It just looks not as luxury, not as sporty, and it just does not blend in with the Camaro with the aggressive look that it wants to give. All right, guys, you guys want more information about all the details that we went over from A to Z and regarding this new project? A lot of people are already interested in this. I'll put the, the thumbnail on the corner of the screen right here, and I'll also put the link right below in the comments so you guys can understand A to Z, what it takes when you purchase this product. Super excited to be working with you. Let's get started. All right, all right, guys. So if you guys also think we just work on American Muscle, well, you got that mistaken. Check out this beautiful, Supra limited edition. This thing is a beast. We started with our client with a carbon fiber OEM hood. This is probably the most massive carbon fiber hood we saw on the market, the widest and the longest. Mustang hoods, don't get me wrong, they're pretty big, but these right here, oof, it's a whole different level. Shipping on these hoods, be ready for the price tag on that, guys. But we started with our client with an awesome carbon fiber hood, and right when he got the car, about a month or two, he got hit. Somebody backed into his vehicle, and we're doing another insurance claim on this one. So we're waiting on that gesture and the supplement to be sent out. This week, we should all fix everything. We're gonna replace the front bumper. We might have to get him another carbon fiber hood just because it got messed up when the accident hit the bumper, and it also got to the hood as well. So super excited about this car. This car is fast, guys. It's got very, very high intensity speed, an awesome launch. I'm not sure how it lines up with the ZL1. I guess we gotta see, but we can't do it here, unfortunately, because we'll get in trouble. All right, guys, this is very rare sighting for us here. As you can see, a TRD Rad4 2020 in the house. As you can know, we're not done yet, but we did a full-on custom print camel 
all around the vehicle, giving the car a very off-roading look. Now, the cool thing about this is we also added Expel PPF on top of the wrap because our client is definitely going to be taking this to off-roading. He's going to get it dirty. It's going to get rock chips, sand, dirt, all that good stuff. For his wrap to last long the way it's supposed to be, we have to make sure we put PPF so it's protected. You get that 10-year warranty on the film too. Any scratches, anything that happens with this vehicle when he's off-roading, it's self-heating to a specific climate, but majority of that being that we'll be taking when it's when it's off-roading will get protected. After the Expel is almost done here, we're gonna coat the whole car with Ceramic Pro as well. One of our top two leading brands that we work here uh, in-house, we use Expel and Ceramic Pro, one of the best combination when it comes to protecting your vehicle. Before we do Expel PPF or Ceramic Pro, we do offer a full paint correction to make sure the car is smooth, all the contaminants are out of the paint and the fenders and any component on the vehicle and all the swirls are out. Then we lay the PPF and after that we coat it. For this reasoning, he didn't have to do that since he wrapped the car and we just laid it right on top of it being nice and fresh. All right guys, this is our awesome C8 Corvette over here. Our client is gonna be getting a full stealth PPF project on this. So this thing is super glossy right now, but it won't be there for a long time. It's gonna be all murdered out, satin murdered stealth. And after that, we're gonna coat it. So we're super excited. This car is still fresh, not even 1,200 miles on it. 2023 C8 Corvette. This is one of my favorite cars in our facility right here. All right, guys, this is uh, an old school truck right here. One of my favorite. This is my good friend's uh, Jesse's truck. He's been building this truck for quite some time. Got a 6.2 engine on there. I think it's an LS2 swap. The cool thing, let me show you about this vehicle. If you guys want to come over here to the truck, it's a full on door handle delete. You don't see this often in these. So how do you open the door? Can you guys let me know in the comments? There's no handles. There's no secrets to this whatsoever. So if you guys can guess in the comments, let me know. I'm very interested to know your answers on that. All right, guys, saving the best for last, our Hennessy 2022 SS1 LEs inside. Our client's gonna be here at 12 at noon on Saturday. Let's go ahead and show you guys the highlights. I can't wait to show you this beast. It's pretty much a ZL1, but it's an SS because it's pushing all that power with Hennessy. I'll show you what it's under the engine, the carbon fiber components that we added for our client, and let's just get to it. I'm super excited. Right next to me guys, the Hennessy SS1 LE 2022 equipped with the 600 HPE package. One of my favorites, I've driven a ZL1 Hennessy before, but to drive an SS1 LE equipped with the 600 package is a whole different monster. I love the, uh, the SS1 LE because the interior trims that it comes with, the steering wheel being Alcantara, and of course, the aerodynamics that it's got. But let's go over all the carbon fiber that we equipped our client with and show you what we got on the front lip, the side skirts, and the rear diffuser, and lastly, the mirror cups. All right guys, so as you can see right over here, the SS1 LE is equipped with the ZL1 lower splitter and carbon fiber. This is a two piece product. This is only equipped with the one piece. There is an additional product that we offer underneath it, which is an extension splitter, but it will make the bumper a little bit low. So it's upon your decision if you wanna risk it or not. But we're just adding the first piece is already aggressive and it lines up with the body lines really well with the SS OEM bumper. Why? Because it's got this cool aerodynamic looking shape on both sides of the bezel, which blends in with this awesome carbon fiber lip. And going over to the side profile of this Hennessy SS1 LE, by the way, you can't go wrong with the SS OEM wheels, the calipers, the rotors, and everything that's got on there. But the cool thing about it, we did contrast it with the red and going down to the side profile of the ZL1 side skirts uh, carbon fiber. One of my favorite go-to, there's a lot of side skirts out there, but they just don't form the right look on the sides of both Gen 5 or Gen 6. These are true look-alike ZL1 specs, which allows the car to give it a true inspired ZL1 look and the power that it's also equipped with. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, I have an OEM cup 
that we took off from this Hennessy SS1 LE. This thing was satin black. When you buy an SS1 LE from the factory, it comes with the satin black package trim, such as the hood, the mirror cups, the diffuser, the side rockers, and the front lip. But obviously the customer transformed everything from satin black to carbon fiber to make sure it's equipped with the luxury look that it deserves. Now, as you can see earlier, we did remove in this entire cup. This is one of our newest products that now we offer for the Gen 6. This entire cup was fully removed and we added a legit molded component on the mirror cups. This is not an add-on. It does not have 3M double-sided tape. We strictly stay away from those things. We know it's gonna peel off, it's gonna fade, it's gonna haze, turn yellow, all that good stuff. So we try to focus on legit carbon fiber components to make sure you guys are getting that quality. All right, and two things you guys need to let us know, we'll also have it available on our website, is uh, Gen 6s from 16 to 23 it come with two options when it comes to the mirrors. Do you have the dimming option or the non-dimming option? So when you purchase it on our website or you contact one of our sales reps, we're gonna ask you or you can get to select on our website to either get the cup with the dimming option so you're able to get the dimming option uh, functional at night. So what the dimming option is when you have a very bright light going on your mirror and you have this outlined around the mirror where it keeps it dark. So that's pretty much it. All you have to know is if you have a circular or an outline all around your mirror, which we'll show you right now, that means you do. If it, there's no outline around your uh, mirrors on the sides, that means you do not have it. Strictly on the driver's side, more than the passenger, because the driver is also more driving the car to be focused on the road. So they mostly have it on the driver mirror more than the passenger. And we'll go ahead and show you guys what that means. So don't forget, if you either have the dimming option or not, you gotta let us know. So so that way we get you the right component to fit on your vehicle. You see a carbon fiber diffuser on this SS1 LE Hennessy, right? But there's a little twist story to it. Our client called us all the way from San Francisco and he had a little issue with his carbon fiber diffuser. He did take the car to a couple shops, even the dealer, and when they tried to install it and modify it, they actually shaved the entire backside of the diffuser to get installed on this bumper, which kind of ruined the product. He didn't want to order another one because they was on pre-order and it's not in stock. So he was referred by the manufacturer to come to us to get him installed by us. And we came up with a scenario and a technique to save it for him and give him that flush from it that it deserved. When we sent him the photos, he was extremely happy, satisfied with the fitment, and we were good to go. So just wanted to let you guys know, this diffuser is probably one of the most aggressive diffusers that you can get for the Gen 6, starting from 16 all the way up to 23. We do have two trims. For the ZL1s is a separate trim, and then the SS in below is another SKU number that we have. It makes the bumper looks more wider, aggressive. It's got the shark fins right in the middle, and it fits a quad tips as well. I love this diffuser. If you guys are interested, I highly suggest you guys get on the pre-order list with us so we can save your spot and supply you as soon as we can. It's a very demanded product on the market right now. Don't waste your time, you gotta get it. Did you guys know that we offer easy financing with no credit check needed whatsoever? Perhaps it even helps your credit. Our partner Snap Finance approves up to $3,000, but I'll even give you better news. Since we've been doing business for them for such a long time, they approve up to $5,000 or potentially $7,500 for you guys to do business with Auto Addict USA. That is correct. Nothing could potentially come out of your pocket to do any sort of projects with us. If you guys have any questions, contact our sales teams at sales.autoaddictusa.com or just send us a DM on our social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and all that good stuff. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the Hennessy SS1 LE. Our client was absolute amazed of the finish of the diffuser and the mirror cups that would install on his vehicle. We can't wait to see him again. He is already planning to set another appointment to drop off the car again for a carbon fiber hood and potentially fenders. We'll see how it goes on that, but we're super excited. Yeah, as you guys see, I got a special package with me here. This came from our good sponsor all the way out in Florida, Reckless. Raquel I'm sure you guys know her and seen her car she just recently wrapped her car in an amazing purple wrap I'll post a photo up here right now so you guys can check it out she's well known in the fifth gen Camaro community owning one of the awesome SS Gen 5 Camaros that has a lot of our carbon fibers such as the Copa hood, the carbon fenders, and she just recently got the ZL1 rear spoiler right when she was getting the new wrap. Let's go ahead and unpackage this package that she sent out to us and see what it's, it's all about. All right guys so uh, 
This reminds me of her old color wrap with the packaging. So I hope she upgrades to the new purple wrap packaging now so, so it can match her vehicle. Let's see what we got here, guys. All right, ooh, okay, okay. So it looks like it's one of her tees and that is correct. She just dropped an entire merch. Uh, look at this thing, this is so good. Check out the back print though, one of my favorites. It has the carbon fiber hood that we worked with her on, our fenders as well on there. I mean, that is so awesome. Make sure you guys check her out on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. Very, very active on our social media. And that is it, Reckless Raquel, right before she wrapped her car purple. Very, very nice. Um, Quality-wise, guys, is amazing. Uh, is, I believe this is a large by next level apparel. Very good quality. Uh, let's go ahead and try this on and show you how it fits. Guys, check this out. This thing is really, really nice and comfortable. I'm actually going to be rocking this for the rest of my shift today. So shout out to Raquel for supporting us and sending us this awesome tee. If you guys want to purchase the same exact tee, we'll post a link below in the description by linking her website tee so you guys can purchase it direct with her. Make sure you support her. She's an awesome enthusiast in the Camaro Gen 5 community. She loves to support us and we love to support her as well. So thank you so much for Raquel. We appreciate your gift to us. And let's go ahead and dive into all the other stuff that we got for you guys. We got a lot of carbon fiber interior mods that we just just built for our customers. Orders are supposed to leave today, so before we have them leave and ship out, we gotta go and show you guys all the highlights that we got going on. Let's get started. All right guys, right next to me is our entire orders is gonna be shipped out today via UPS for our clients. A lot of Gen 5 and Gen 6 owners. Before I go into details for you guys, did you guys know that we haven't posted this on our website, but we have our official carbon fiber branded mask. This thing is so awesome. If you haven't gotten this on your Camaro or Mustang or Mopar or whatever car you own, this thing will be live on our website very soon. You gotta get one of these. Let's go ahead and go over what we got going on over here. Let me show you this. One of our local clients that ordered this entire custom setup that's locally, we'll be getting this installed here. We'll show you guys a full highlights when his car's appointment gets dropped off here. But the cool thing about this is a round top, flat bottom carbon fiber and gloss. And he got the perforated leather in white on both sides, nine and three o'clock with the thumb holder in carbon fiber to contrast with the trims of the buttons on both sides. Now, check out this piece right here. As you guys know, we've been launching a lot of uh, our carbon fiber horn cover. We just came out with our new material, which is the perforated leather and the leather material, which is in this case right here with the Stitching SS logo. So if you guys want the ZO1, the SS or the LT or RS stitched on there or anything you want word-wise, we got you, not a problem at all. It's a full-on OEM product that will get replaced from the existing OEM horn cover and adding our new modified horn cover for you. Let me show you guys one more time, the horn being off versus the leather giving it that great contrast. And it blends in with the back side of the steering wheel as well, so that way it's not out of proportion. And the cool thing about this is a two by four weave and a bunch of thumb holders uh, grip, so that way you're gripping your carbon fiber steering wheel with the right grip without sliding or crashing into other cars. All right, you guys, this one right here, same exact thing, round top, flat bottom, but this one has a lot going on. So as you can see, he's going with the theme of green. Alcantara red and black. Alcantara on both sides, green stitching to contrast the theme that he's got going on with the green thumb holders to make sure everything is aligned with the theme colors that he's got going on. Obviously this thing is branded with us so he wanted the Auto Addict brand in red. The other one right here obviously he wanted in white to match what he's got going on. So yes, our branded steering wheels is flexible in regarding colors wise of what you wish the Auto Addict to be in and we're super excited to show you what we got going on in regarding the paddle shifters. The paddle shifters, you're gonna get two options. We can either offer you the short paddle shifters which is the OEM stock or the extended. I personally like the extended version. It gives it more of a pop on the carbon and it shows and exposes whether you get a red carbon fiber or regular carbon. In this case, our client wanted red with the plus and minus in white to make sure it's attractive the way it's supposed to be. All right, so this one right here is going with the Black Widow theme. Our client is building the horn cover, which we're still making for him right now as we see. But the cool thing about this right here, he's got the perforated leather in black, the red stitching on both sides, the blue round top, the blue round bottom, and the carbon fiber just 
Inuit to contrast the way it's supposed to be. We could have done this in blue as well, but we wanted to give it a contrast look. And then obviously the last thing was the button trims, all carbon fiber with the paddle shifters being in blue, extended the right way that it's supposed to be. All right guys, you gotta save the best for last, right? Let's go ahead and go over this one right here. One of my favorite, and it's our first ever carbon on carbon steering wheel manufactured by Autotic 2 USA. This thing's actually very luxurious and it's super, super high quality, blending in a round top carbon fiber in black with outlining the mold to go ahead and continue with a red carbon fiber and finishing it off with a black on the bottom and right around the trim and red carbon fiber. This touch right here is super, super sporty and luxurious, makes the interior pop the right way it's supposed to be. And let's not forget the horn cover, all red carbon fiber with the red SS letters embossed underneath the clear. This thing is a killer appearance. Anybody that sees this interior steering wheel product is definitely gonna ask a lot of questions and I cannot wait to show this and ship it to our client. Our client is extremely excited for this after we send them the photos and don't forget the power shifters in red as well to make sure it matches with the theme. Will you be ordering your steering with us? If you will, give us an opportunity to build your interior by emailing us at sales.autoaddictusa.com. You can contact myself, our colleagues, as well with our sales team to help you out with A to Z details and give you lead times on building these.